Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and today I want to talk about a rumor that is completely bonkers, and I honestly don't believe it because it just seems so off the wall. But I wanted to talk about the repercussions of the said rumor and what that could mean for the gaming industry, especially for Microsoft. Let's talk about it. So the rumor mill is apparently spreading around that Scalebound, which was a Microsoft Xbox exclusive game being developed by Platinum Games, which would have been their answer to Breath of the Wild or Horizon Zero Dawn, but instead got canceled. Apparently, that's coming back. Hooray, right? Good job, Microsoft. After all, you need killer exclusives after Crackdown 3. <laughs> oh, wait. It's not a Microsoft exclusive, apparently. Ouch. Oh, it's not even coming to Xbox? Ouch! Wow, Microsoft, what happened? So, anyways, this is completely unfounded, and I don't even personally believe it, but the thing is, people are talking about this. They're saying that Scalebound is going to be coming to the Nintendo Switch. Wow. I mean, I can only imagine the salt. And that's what I want to talk about, because I want to talk about the repercussions of something like this happening because I really don't think it's very likely. Honestly, at least not in the shape and scope that we saw it at Microsoft's E3. You know, I think if we do happen to see a scale bound game, it may be drastically different from what was shown then. And I don't mean just visually, but in terms of the actual scope of the project and things like that, maybe drastically different. But if it does actually happen, man, I mean, Talk about a complete screw up on Microsoft's part. I think it goes without saying that at this point, anybody that's been paying attention to Xbox in this console generation probably realizes that Microsoft already knows that they lost this console generation. They have already been outsold almost three times by Sony PlayStation. I think the PS4 is ahead by two and a half times or something like that. And Nintendo Switch is likely to outsell the Xbox One sometime this year. That's not a good showing considering that it came out in 2013 versus the Switch coming out in 2017. That is definitely, definitely something to worry about. But of course, Microsoft's been buying a lot of game studios. Companies like Ninja Theory and Compulsion Games, Undead Labs, Playground Games, In Exile, and of course, Obsidian Entertainment. So Microsoft definitely is gearing up for the next generation. But I think when it comes to this generation, they're more or less giving up. Maybe that's why they canceled Scalebound. Maybe they realized, well, maybe this game was going to be too expensive, too long to develop. It wouldn't be ready in time for it to really make an impact on the Xbox One. And maybe they decided to just throw in the towel with it. And Nintendo comes to the rescue, which they have done before with Bayonetta. Uh, bringing Bayonetta 2 exclusively to the Switch after it was worried that we would never see a sequel to Bayonetta. Because Sega was kind of iffy about it. So, I mean, it's just so... So mind-blowing. I, I can't believe this rumor. It's insane. I just don't think it's accurate. But the thing is, what if it is? What if it is accurate? I mean, if you guys have seen Salt from Microsoft fanboys, you ain't seen nothing yet, man. I mean, this is gonna be very damaging to the Xbox brand if this happens. I mean, wow. I mean, any Xbox fan that claims that they'll be okay with this is they're they're in denial they're in denial about it because there's no way they're gonna be okay with a highly sought after exclusive being canceled and released on a competitor's platform and not even coming out in your system now if it was like gonna be a multi-platform game that might be different you know i mean after all that's happened before with other games i remember that rayman origins was originally going to be a wii u exclusive and then Ubisoft changed their mind. They were like, oh, we'll make it a time exclusive. And then they're like, oh, we'll just delay it until the, all the other versions are ready. So then it's like, well, thanks, guys. But, <laughs> but anyways, um, I, you know, it could be that situation. That'd be kind of that'd be kind of disheartening. But I mean, coming out on a different platform altogether and not even coming out on your own. Wow, that that's got to sting, man. That really has to hurt. And sad day for Microsoft fanboys. Wow. 
I mean, but let me, let me know what you guys think. Do you think uh, they'll really care? I mean, after all, they do mainly play Halo, Gears of War, Forza. Would they really give a crap? I don't know. I think they would really make a big deal about it because Microsoft doesn't have a game that fits that Zelda-type franchise, especially given that they canceled Fable Legends and haven't brought any kind of Fable-like game or anything like that. Um, you know, you got Bethesda, which used to make exclusive RPGs for Xbox, or well, at least console exclusive. They don't do that anymore. They release for everything now. It's like Microsoft doesn't really have much of anything to go on in this field, and that kind of sucks. You know, if you're a RPG fan, Western RPGs or action RPGs or whatever the case might be, it just kind of sucks. So I just kind of want to wrap about it and just talk about how crazy that this would be, you know. Um, like I said, I don't really believe this rumor, but who knows? But till then, Down Phoenix out.